Hello students, welcome back to our channel for Tech Online. So today will be our ninth class on most important questions of Gate Excel for Technology subject. So all the aspirants, they must watch this video. So now let us proceed. Okay, before starting, let me tell you about our ebook. So Food Tech Online has launched an ebook for all the Gate Excel Food Technology students. This ebook will cover all the four sections of food technology subjects. Those are food chemistry and nutrition, food microbiology, food products technology, and food engineering. Iske saath hi aapko isme kuch previous year questions milenge plus kuch numerical solve milenge. Aapko karna hai ki niche aapko description box mein Google form link di gayi hai. Aapko se fill karna hai and after this, aapko ye ebook share ki jayegi. So, okay, और आपको और फर्दर नहीं कुछ न्यूमरिकल्स की प्रैक्टिस करना है तो आप हमारे ऐप जो है फुटटेक ऑनलाइन के ऐप को आप इंस्टॉल कर सकते हैं प्ले स्टोर से वहां पे आपको गेट एग्जाम बोलकर एक सेक्शन मिलेगा वहां पे आपको उसके सब टॉपिक्स जैसे कि फूड इंजीनियरिंग फूड केमिस्ट्री न्यूट्रिशन ये सब टॉपिक्स मिलेंगे आप उसके कुछ न्यूमरिकल कुछ क्वेश्चन है आप उसको प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं अपने प्रिपरेशन में और एनहेंसमेंट कर ला सकते हैं सो so, आपको नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में इसकी लिंक भी मिल जाएगी ओके चलो नाउ लेट अस बिगिन आपको करना क्या है पहले आपको वीडियो पॉज करना है खुद सॉल्व करने की कोशिश करनी है ठीक है नंबर वन विच अमंग द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ लिपिड ऑप्शन आर ए वी ऑयल्स बी प्रोटीन सी फैट्स एंड डी वैक्सेस सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी दैट इज फैट्स तो हमको पता है कि लिपिड्स इट्स अ ब्रॉड ग्रुप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स विच इंक्लूड्स फैट्स वैक्सेस ऑयल्स एंड वाटर सोल्यूबल विटामिन मोनोग्लिसराइड्स डाइग्लिसराइड्स फॉस्फोलिपिड्स अदर्स सो ओवर हियर विच इज नॉट अ लिपिड इट्स ऑप्शन नंबर बी दैट इज प्रोटीन Question number two: The basic structure of amino acid consists of a central carbon atom, also known as alpha carbon, bonded to. Options are A, amino group hydrogen; B, amino group carboxylic acids and the hydrogen atom; C, carbo amino group and carboxylic acid; and D, carboxylic group and hydrogen. So, correct option will be option number B. So, the basic structure of an amino acid it consists of a central atom, central carbon atoms, which is also known as alpha carbon, so which is bonded to an amino group and a carboxylic group. And a and the hydrogen atoms. So the amino group it is attached to the alpha carbon on one side, and the carboxylic group is attached to the alpha carbon on the other side. Okay, so the correct option will be option number B. Number two. Question number three: The gut microbes metabolize L-carnitine into which metabolite that has been shown increase cardiovascular diseases? So the options are A choline, B betaine, C trimethylamine that is TMA, and all of the options D. So the correct option is trimethyl amine. So this trimethyl amine, that is TMA, is a gut microbial metabolite that is derived from a breakdown. That is derived from the breakdown of diacetyl alkarnide bacteria, uh, carnide by certain bacteria in the intestine. So this TMA is converted into trimethyl amine and oxide, that is TMAO, by flavin monooxygenase in the liver. Whereas the option that is choline, choline it is a precursor. For the betaine and the trimethyl amine in the body, and this betaine, it is a it is a derivative in of the choline that acts as a methyl donor in various metabolic pathways. So this trimethyl amine, trimethyl amine, it is a product of the breakdown of this choline and betaine of certain bacteria, which is which acts in the in our intestines. So over here, the correct option will be option number C, that is. Trimethyl amine since it is a product of these two. So correct option is option number C. Next question number four. What is the most well known and understood of the carotenoids? So the correct option is option number A that is alpha carotene, B beta carotene, C zeaxanthin, and D lycopene. Correct option is option number B that is beta carotene. So this beta carotene is most well known and understood of carotenoids, uh, which is a natural pigment and that gives our plants or imparts the color of uh, yellow to orange. Whereas the zeaxanthin, the zeaxanthin it's a type of uh, xanthophyll, which is a carotenoid that contains oxygens in it. So it is Found in mainly in yellow to green uh, foods, whereas this lycopene it's also a type of carotene and it is responsible for giving the red color in the fruits like in tomatoes or watermelons or grapefruits and others. So over here the correct option is option number B that is beta carotene. Next question number five. 
Which among the following is not an accessory pigment? Options are A. Chlorophyll A, B. Chlorobacterial chlorophylls, C. Chlorophyll B and D. Phycobilins. So the correct option is option number A that is chlorophyll A. So chlorophyll A it is not an accessory pigment whereas it is a primary pigment that absorbs light for the purpose of photosynthesis whereas the other three are the accessory pigments which are the, these light absorbing compounds that work in conjugations with chlorophyll A to capture more lights okay uh, wavelengths of light so chlorophyll a we know that chlorophyll a is the main pigment that absorbs the blue and red light and it reflects the green light whereas bacterial chlorophylls it's a type of chlorophyll that is found in some bacteria such as purple bacteria or green sulfur bacteria whereas chlorophyll b chlorophyll b it's a type of chlorophyll that is found in green algae or in other higher plants whereas phycobilins phycobilins it's a type of accessory pigment that is found in the cyanobacteria red algae so over here the correct option is option number A that is chlorophyll A. Question number 6. Which among the following metabolite does not impart flavor to beer? So options are A. Easters, B. Thiol, C. Carbonyls and D. Alcohol. So the correct option will be option number B that is thiols. So Easters they are responsible for the fruity or a floral aromas in the beer whereas this Carbonyls they are responsible to produce a malty or a caramel honey buttery type flavor and this Alcohols we know that these are the organic compounds that contains the hydroxylic groups. So they contain the main products of Easter fermentations and provides alcoholic strength to the beer. So over here the correct option option will be option number B that is thiols. Question number 7. Which among the following acts as an osmoprotectants? Options are A. Glycerols, B. Glycogens, sorry, A. Gly glycogens, B. Glycerols, C. Acetic Acids and D. Starches. So the correct option is Glycerols. So osmoprotectants kya hote? Osmoprotectants, it's a small organic molecule that helps the organisms to survive in the extreme osmotic stresses by balancing them uh, to, by balancing the osmotic differences between the cell and the environment. Okay. So over here, the correct option is Glycerols. Glycogens kya the glycogens they are the polysaccharides which consists of the which consists of many glucose units which are linked together our acetic acids kya hote? acetic acids these are also these are carboxylic acids which is produced by the oxidations of ethanols and fermentations of sugars whereas the starches starches kya ye bhi ek polysaccharides hai that contains two types of glucose polymers this can be um, that uh, amino amylose and amylopectins so, here is my osmoprotectants. Kya hai? It's a glycerol. Next, question number 8. Aldehyde is dash toxic to the cells. So, a highly, not uh, less or moderate. So, the correct option is highly. So, this acetaldehyde, it is a chemical compound that is produced by the oxidation of ethanol or the hydration of the acetylenes. So, this aldehyde, it is highly, <coughs> it is highly toxic to the cells. So the correct option is option number C. Question number 9. Which is used as browning agents? Options are A. Vitamin C. Option B. Vitamin B12. Uh, vitamin C. The, uh, sorry. Option C. That is vitamin B6. And option D. That is vitamin D. So correct option is option number A. That is vitamin C. So this vitamin C. It acts as an anti-browning anti agent. So it acts by reducing the quinones that is formed by the oxidation of this uh, phenolic compounds. Which is which is uh, by the uh, actions of this polyphenol oxidase enzyme. That is PPO. So this enzyme it causes the enzymatic browning reaction. So what happens when vitamin C is added? It inhibits this activity of polyphenol oxidase and which even lowers the pH and it chillets out the metal ions which is required for this enzymes. Whereas vitamin B12 and vitamin B6 it is a water soluble vitamins but they do not have any role in this enzymatic reactions. And vitamin D this vitamin D it is a calciferol which is it is, it is an, uh, fat -soluble vitamin. It is a fat soluble vitamin and it is not an anti-browning uh, agent whereas this uh, is a pro-oxidant which enhances the oxidation of the phenolic compound by increasing the browning reactions. So over here uh, the correct option will be option number C that is vitamin C. Oh, sorry option number A that is vitamin C. 
next question number 10 meat and rising enzyme is options are a amylase b protease c lipase and d xylanase so the correct option is option number b that is protease so protease it is a type of enzyme that breaks down the protein into smaller amino acids so this we know that the protein the main component of uh, its muscles and the connective tissues so now when protease enzyme it acts what happens they uh, break them down and these protease even can make the meat more tender or easy to chew whereas this amylase lipase and xylanase these are also an enzyme but they do not but they have they have other different functions for example say amylase so this amylase what they do they breaks down these starches into sugars whereas lipase lipase they break down the fatty fats and fatty acids into glycerols and xylanase it breaks down the xylans which, which is a hemicellulose into xylose and other sugars so over here the correct option is option number b that is protease Okay, question number 11. What is the example of derived uh, biological derived antimicrobials? So the options are H2O2, sorbets, acetates and nissens. So the correct option is option number D that is nissens. So nissens it is a natural antimicrobial peptides which is produced by some of the bacterial strains say it's uh, like um, lactobacillus, lactis or by lactic acids or the bacteriums. Whereas the sorbates as H2O2s and acetates these are not the biological derived antimicrobials microbials whereas these are the chemical preservatives uh, say for example this h2o2 this hydrogen peroxide it is a strong oxidizing agent that can kill bacteria by damaging the dna or the proteins or the membranes of the cells whereas the sorbets the sorbets it is um for example say sodium sorbets or the potassium sorbates so it is a salt of the sorbic acids fatty acids and which can inhibit the growth of the moles yeast and other bacteria by interfering their metabolisms or the ph whereas this acetates say sodium acetate or the calcium acetates for example so these are the salts of this acetic acids uh, which is a weak acid rather but it lowers the pH or it even creates the unfavorable environment for the micro microbes so for which reasons the microbes cannot grow so over here the correct option will be option number D that is Nissen since it is a natural antimicrobial agent okay so the correct option is option number D Next question. Question number 12. Raw egg white contains a protein which binds biotin. Options are A. Elastin, B. Casein, C. By avidin and D. None. So the correct option is option number C that is avidin. So this avidin is a protein of egg raw egg white so which binds the which binds with the biotins whereas this elastin it is also a protein which gives the elasticity or the resilience to the tissues uh, whereas tissues such as in skins or in the blood vessels lungs okay whereas this casein casein it is also a protein that is the main component of the milk and cheese so over here the correct option is option number c that is avidin Question number 13. The disease associated with salmonella infection is A. Salmonella stepticamia, B. Enteritic fever, C. Um, food poisoning and D. All. So correct option is option number D that is all. So this uh, salmonella stepticamia, it's a rare condition or a serious condition happens when these salmonella bacteria, it enters through the blood streams and it moves to other organs. Whereas this enteritic fever, enteritic fever, it is a systematic infection where what happens this salmonella typhi or say salmonella paratyphi, which is caused, uh, it is adapted to the humans and they can be transmitted through the fecals or through the oral roots. And this whole uh, food poisoning, so this is a common form of this infection of the salmonella infection which is caused by the salmonella serotypes so over here all the option is correct with so these all diseases these are related to the salmonella infections so the correct option is option number d that is all question number 14 so the major antioxidant used in food fats and oils is options are a bha uh, b bht c propyl gallate and d all so the correct option is option number D that is all. So this BH that is butylated hydroxy anisole, BHT butylated hydroxy toluenes and this propyl gallates these all are the synthetic antioxidants that are commonly added to foods or fats and oils to prevent the rancidity actions. Okay so the correct option is option number D that is all.
Next question, question number 15. So what is used to control the ropiness in the bread? So the options are A, fumarates, B, propionates, C, sorbates and D, succinates. So the correct option is option number B, that is propionates. So let us discuss what does this ropiness means first. So ropiness, it is a spoilage phenomena that manifests in the sticky or the stinginess or the degradations in, found in the crumbs of the breads. So fumarates over here. So fumarates, it's a food acidulence which is added to the food for the tartness or the soreness to provide a tartness or the soreness in the food products so it is not used in the spoilage of the food uh, that is to prevent the spoilage or uh, the ropiness in the bread whereas the sorbets these sorbets these are used uh, as a preservatives in the wines or cheese manufacturing manufacturing industries for prevention of the mold or the bacterial growths not in the bread um, whereas this succinates, these succinates, these are used as a flavor enhancers or the acid regulators. Okay, so over here the correct option will be option number B that is uh, propionates. Question number 16, a solution from which water cannot be crystallized is known as a mixture of eutectic, B homogeneous, C heterogeneous and D null. So the solution uh, from which the water cannot crystallize is known as a mixture of eutectic. So over here the correct option will be option number A that is eutectic. Next question, question number 17. The time required to kill the microorganisms at a given lethal temperature is called. Options are A, inact let, uh, thermal inactivation time, B, thermal death time, C, critical time or D, lag phase. So over here the correct option is option number B that is thermal death time. So this uh, thermal inactivation time, what is it? The thermal inactivation time, it is, uh, it is also known as the D value. Okay. So this is actually the time which is required to reduce the number of microorganisms by a certain fraction such as 90% or one log cycle at a given temperature whereas this thermal death time so this thermal death time it is a time which is required to kill a microorganism in a sample at a given temperature so it is known as also it is also known as the f value or the lethal rate whereas this critical time this critical time it is not a term that is used uh, but it is rather used in the chemical reactions to mention the critical temperatures or the critical points okay whereas this lag phase this lag phase it is also not a term which is related to the thermal destruction time rather it is used uh, in the cells for adapting to the environment where and preparing for the divisions okay this is a lag phase which is usually seen in the uh, microorganisms growth cycle okay so over here the correct option will be option number b that is the thermal set time question number 18 the main objective of blanchings are option a fixing the color b removing tissue gases c kill the microbes and d all so the correct option will be all since we know that blanching it is a process of heating fruits and vegetables in a hot water or a stream for a short period of time and then it is followed by a rapid cooling or uh, in the air or in the cold water so it even leads to the so for the, the purpose of this is to fix the color since we know that blanching it can enhances or preserve the natural color of the fruits by inactivating the enzymes that can cause the brownings where uh, in the in, in second option that is in the removal of tissue gases so in branching can even repel airs and gases from the plant cells so which can improve the textures and qualities of the food products whereas it can kill the microbes which is present at the surface of the fruits or the vegetables so what the main objective is to fix the color remove the tissue gases and to kill the microbes so over here all the options are correct option number d question number 19 cyclomate is how many times sweeter than the sucrose so the options are a 10 b 200 c 100 and 3 d 30 so the correct option is 30 since cyclomate it is an artificial sweetener or it is also known as non-nutritive sweetener so it's 20 to 30 times sweeter than the sucrose that is the table sucrose sugars so correct option is d Question number 20, when ionizing radiation strikes the water molecule, it spits technically called A, hydrolysis, B, radiolysis, tri triple points and dehydrations. So the correct option is option number B, that is radiolysis. So when an ionizing radiation, it strikes the water molecule, it spits into two parts that are the, namely the hydrogen ions, that is the H plus and another is the hydroxide ions, that is OH minus. So this process is called the radiolysis, whereas the hydrolysis process, the hydrolysis process, 
is it's a chemical reaction in which water molecule is used to break down into its two compounds two parts okay next uh, this triple point actually this triple point it is a temperature or a pressure at which the at which a substance can exist in all its three states that is the solid liquid or the gaseous state at the same time whereas this hydration hydration it's a process of adding water into a substance so over here the correct option will be option number b that is radiolysis question number 21 two four five trichlorophenoxy acetic acid is used as a what agent options are a sprout inhibitors b antioxidants c anti-ripening agents and d texturizing as an agent so the correct option is anti-ripening agent so this 245 dichlor trichlorophenoxy acetic acid it's a synthetic oxygen that is used as a herbicide to defoliate the broad leaves okay even it's a plant hormone so it's not an sprout inhibitor antioxidant or a texturizing agent so correct option is option number c Question number 22, mark the one which is not a surface active agent. So the options are A, calcium hydroxide, B, soap, C, alkylyl sulfonates and D, quartz. So the correct option is option number A, that is calcium hydroxide. So what exactly is the surface active agent? So surface active agent is, is a substance that can reduce the surface tensions of the liquid which is dissolved in it. Uh, even this has an application such as in cleaning, uh, emulsifying or in foamings. So out of the given option, calcium hydroxide, it is not a surface active agents whereas this calcium hydroxide we can say it is a chemical for chemical which is mainly used in food industries as a ph regulators or as a forming agents or as a leavening agents whereas this soap alkyl sulfonates and quads these are the surface active agents so we know this soap how it is made these are made from the reactions of the fatty acids with the alkali met alkali metal hydroxides okay and it is even used as a cleaning agents whereas this alkali sulfonates sulfonates these are the synthetic surfactants which is used in as a laundry detergents and these quads these quads are actually the quaternary quaternary ammonium compounds so these are the cationic sulfonate uh, sorry surfactants that can be used as a disinfectants and even as a fabric softeners so over here among the following calcium hydroxide is not a surface active agent Question number 23, in milk, whey proteins are in A, colloidal solution, B, colloidal suspension, C, emulsion, and D, none. So, the correct option is option number A, that is colloidal solution. So, what is colloidal solution? So, colloidal solution, it is a type of a mixture in which the particles of one substance are evenly dispersed throughout the another substance, but it is not dissolved in it. Whereas, in colloidal suspension, we can say that it would imply that, for example, in whey proteins, these are suspended throughout the milk, but they are not dissolved in it in emulsion emulsion it refers to the mixture of two or more liquids that are non immiscible that are uh, normally immiscible that means these are not blended uh, so over here the correct option is option number a that is colloidal solution question number 24 vitamin b1 occurs in a form of a coenzyme Options are ATP, ADP, TPP and CUA. So the correct option is option number C that is TPP. So for B1 the coenzyme is thiamine pyrophosphate that is TPP. For K we can say that for vitamin B2 it's flavin mononucleotides or flavin adenine dinucleotides. For vitamin B3 we can say the coenzyme is COA. Whereas for vitamin B5 it is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide that is NAD for uh, and vitamin B6 it's pyridoxal phosphates and so on. So over here for vitamin B1 it's TPP that is thiamine pyrophosphates. Question number 25. The anti-nutritional factor that hinders the absorption of calcium is option is A, T, B, gossypol, C, citric acid and D, phytic acid. So over here the correct option is D that is phytic acid. So this phytic acid it is an anti-nutritional factor that can hinder the absorption of calcium ions. So the correct option is D. Whereas the citric acid, citric acid it is a weak organic acid that can enhance the absorptions of the calcium by forming soluble uh, calcium citrate complexes. And this gossypol, this gossypol is a phenolic compound that can be found in the uh, cotton seeds same, and it can reduce the uh, absorption of uh, this calciums but not to that certain level or it can affect it whereas this tea it is also it contains the tannins and can bind to the calcium ions it reduces the absorption but is not so much effective or it is small or it is not considered to be so much significant so over here the correct option will be option number d that is phytic acid 
Okay, with this we we have also completed our 25 question answer series of Gate Excel Food Technology subject. If you like our videos, share with your friends. You can subscribe our channel for further more videos and other social media links. It's given in the description box. So till then, enjoy learning. Thank you.